Hi friend, this is Pastor Lucas Pina. This is our snack for the journey. And this week we are in the first letter that Paul wrote to Thessalonians, a very, very important letter. I'd like to encourage you to read the whole letter. It's a great, great letter with so many stuff, good stuff. Unfortunately, we don't have time to go to all the details. It's a very rich letter. I'd like to encourage you to read the whole thing and, and, and read it again and read it again. There's so many good lessons there. But and also I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel and to share this video with your friends and family and help us to bless other people. So let's take a look at the verse for today. Verse for today is chapter 2, verse 13. Verse, chapter 2, verse 13. It says, And we also thank God continually because when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you accept it not as the word of man, but as it actually is, the word of God, which is at work in you who believe. I'd like just to emphasize that the, the, the end of the, the verse here, which uh, uh, you receive the word of God. You re when, you hear, when you heard from us, you receive the word of God as the Word of God. It's, we could talk about the inspiration of the Scriptures and, and the New Testament Scripture. It's, it's, a, it's a great verse for that, that tells us that, yes, the New Testament, the Word of Paul is considered uh, the, the, the Gospel. The, the, the Apostle, the, 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 the Paul and the other letters, they, they are the Word of God. People understood that. At that time they understood that, that they, those guys, they are, they are giving us something from God. So that uh, emphasized the importance of the New Testament. But I, I want to, to go a little bit further on that, in the sense that you accept not as the Word of man, but actually is. It what actually is the Word of God, which is at work in you who believe. You receive the Word as the Word of God. And, and, and sometimes I, we, we talk about that on our first verse, I think, that we mentioned here. It's the attitude. It's our attitude toward the Word of God. When we hear someone preaching and teaching and they are f faithful to the scriptures, it's very important for us to understand, to accept, to receive as the word of God. God is talking to me. This is his word. And that word will transform will change things in my life, will help me to remove things out of my life, will help me to bring things in in my life. It will change my life. When I receive the Word of God, like you are receiving right now, and when I understand God is speaking to me, it's His Word that is being explained to me. Something is going to happen in that process. And the Holy Spirit will take that message and transform our lives. And it's very important for us to, to have that kind of attitude in our lives, my friend. It's very important to have that kind of attitude. When I hear someone preaching, teaching, uh, 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 giving a meditation, no matter how big, how large, how long, how short, it doesn't matter. It come, if, it, if it comes from the Word of God, it's God talking to me. It's faithful to the Word of God. God will talk to me and He will use that message to transform my life. It's a great lesson for all of us. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.